everybody, it's Deb from DD Art Gallery. Today I have a 10 by 20 inch canvas. This is kind of a nice canvas to work with, not too big and not too small. And I'm going to be doing a traveling ring pour today. And I am using a four chamber cup that I purchased from Mixed Media Girl, Marcy at Mixed Media Girl. And let's go over my colors. All my paints today are the Blick line of paints. My base coat, I'm going to do a little bit different. I'm going to have a streak of white down the middle and then primary blue on both sides. That's the primary blue from Blick. And then I just have their titanium white in a container. And then my uh, the, the ring pour colors I'm going to use are the metallic gold, the fiery red, Mars Black and the Metallic Silver. And uh, my pouring medium today is two parts Floetrol, one part paint, squirt of GAC 800, and a squirt of the Liquitex Gloss Medium. No silicone added. So what I'm going to do is stop the camera. I'm going to put down my base coat and I'm going to go ahead and fill my cup Bring you back and we'll start painting. Okay, everybody, I'm back. I have my base coat down of the primary blue and the titanium white. I have my cup filled, as you can see, of the gold, black, red, and silver. And I did do two separate layers, so underneath are different colors. So I'm just going to start my ring pour up at the top here. And then just move down the canvas. And I will just do some more, few more rings here since I have a little bit of paint left. Okay. And now I'm just going to start the tipping process. I'm going to tip down this way first. And then back. Let's get this corner over here. And I may lose all of my base coat blue, but that's okay. Get this corner over here. And let's work on this corner, this far corner here. And I actually think I have some paint left, so I'm going to add it over here. See what I have left in my cup. Figure why not use that paint up. Tip it that way, and now I'm going to tip it down to this corner. And 
And now I'll bring it back. And I think I will run some paint off the bottom a little bit. And I am going to go to this corner again. Just thinking about the composition here. And bringing it back. I am trying to give those lines some interest here so they're not so straight. I actually do like them to be wavy. And that is what I'm working on right now by running the paint back and forth. Hopefully you're you're able to see most of this process. Okay, I'm gonna take a look at the painting now, see what I have going on. I actually really like the areas where that red faded a little bit into the gray. I did have a little bit of white pop up. Just cleaning the edges off here. And I'm, I really like the composition I have going on here. I don't really think there's anything I want to change. So I'm going to give it a quick torch here. Let's bring up the air bubbles. And I'll get you down for a close-up. Okay, everybody, here we are for our close-up. And I am showing you the whole painting here. I am pretty happy with the results of this. Um, I realized that that blue, the blue underneath did not really come through. You can see it just a little bit here. That primary blue, a little bit there came up in the left corner, left upper corner. Take you down the left hand side here. I did get a few cells and that's from the Floetrol. Actually, I think it really adds something to this painting, those little cells. A couple of little blue cells coming up there. And we'll just take you over the whole painting here. I really like how these um, rings turned out here. That red stayed so crisp in there. A lot of the gray, a little bit of white came up, which I like too. Some of the gold in there. Again, I like, I really do like the rings in here. Again, this was just a little traveling ring pour on a 10 by 20 inch canvas. A little bit of that blue came up here too on that edge. And this is going up the right hand side here with this being the upper right hand corner. So let me know what you think of this video and give me a thumbs up if you like it. This is really a simple pour that you can do if you are a beginner, a, a good one to practice on. Um, ring the bell, choose all, so you know the next time I do post a new video. If you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so to help my channel grow. And until next time, take care, everybody. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.